Hey hey, so today I'm going to talk to you I hope you are ready for our next lesson because I am ready to teach you. I have a textbook right here. Today's lesson we will cover Asa Ko. Asa Ko is the fourth consonant in the Khmer alphabet. So get your pen, pencil, and notebook ready because we are going through this together. Asako is right here. It's the fourth consonant. One, two, three, four. Ga, ka, go, ko. It's red, so it's in group O. Ko. So since ko is in group O and it's red, we will use the vowels or the sound of the vowel that are red. So we will be using we will be using e e e u u u u for those who have printed out these sheets. Uh, please have them out with you because it could be very helpful. Here we have a textbook. Let's read at Soto with vowels. Ko. Ko ia kia. Ko i ki. Ko i ki. Ko u ku. Ko u ku. Ko u ku. Ko u ku. Ko ua kua. Ko u ku. Ko u ku. Ko i kia. Ko i ki. Ko a k. Ko a k. Ko o ko. Ko o ko. Ko om kom. Ko om kom. Ko om kom. Ko a k. Ko u ku. Ko i ki. Ko o ko. Notice that these two sound the same. They're supposed to be. And now we will read and write these words and sentences over here. And I will show you how we can write them and what the meanings are. So our first word, ko u ku ku so ko u ku we've seen ko u ku before it's over here ko u ku but in this word there is a rel with it i don't know if i have addressed this before but rel is an equivalent to a letter r and rel in khmer when it's at the end of a word like this it doesn't really do anything I actually not sure like why a lot of my words have rel in it at the end, but it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't change the sound or anything. At least I, it's not something that I'm aware of. Maybe hopefully it's something um, I might discover later, like the purpose of rel at the end. But um, yeah, in a lot of these cases, you see three of them rel at the end of um, these words, but they, yeah, they don't really add anything or change anything. Um, so, ko u ku nang rel ku. So, we will write ko sra u. Nang rao. Ku. And then here, this, uh, this sign over here, it means uh, it looks like a number two in Khmer. And it means to repeat this word. So, ku ku. It 
It's like it's like say this word two times. So, so cool, cool, and the meaning of cool, cool is um, the sound of the wind. Oh, very shaky. Sorry. Sound of wind. So kau 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 nengrau kau. Next word we have ko ko. We see ko over here ko o ko, but in a word we have rao at the end of the ko, and then the next syllable is ko ko o ko 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 over here. So we will write ko ko. Again, ko, o, ko, nengrau ko, and then ko, a ko, ko ko. The word "koko" means cruel. Or violent. Our next word we have "go kia." Go stands alone, and then we have "ko." Ia kia, nengrau kia, go kia, and we write go kia. Start with at so go. We already uh, had our lesson on at so go. Go, and then ko. Ia, kia, nengrau kia. My camera is a little shaky. Sorry about that. Go kia means sweaty, <laughs> which is something you find yourself. Um, it's a situation you find yourself in when you're in Cambodia. You're sweaty a lot. Because um, it's super hot. Sweaty, not sweety, but sweaty. Go kia. And then here we have our first sentence for the ko. And you read. Go eke. Ko om kom, jo ao jiao, neng rao jiao, ge kom jiao. You know it's a sentence because, well, other than the uh, grammar stuff, there's a period. This is sanya kan. This is a period at the end of this whole phrase, whole sentence. So this is a sentence, and then this one is also a sentence. So let's um, cover this. First sentence, ge kom jiao. Ge go a ge means someone or like somebody. Kom ko sra om kom. And then we have jiao, jaw, srao, jaw ao jiao, neng rao jiao, ge kom jiao. So ge, someone, or he, or it, or I don't know, just, just a very general word for addressing someone, somebody. Kom means uh, detain, 
ดีเทนหรือเรสต์และจาวเป็นทีฟส์ดัง someone somebody detains a thief they come j a o or they arrest a thief um, okay our next sentence we have ต่ออาตาเขาอีคีดออาดาหนึ่งเรดาตาคีดา and then สอามซามดออาดาสออาซาลออาลาเขาอมคมเกาเกาอีกีหนึ่งเรากีตาคีดาสัมดาสาลาคมกกีตาคีดาสัมดาสาลาคมกกี it means that ตา is a grandpa คี is his name ตาคี grandpa คีดา is to walk สัมดา means Toward s a l a k o m k o k i s a l a k o m is a township, a commune, district hall. s a l a k o m k o k i k o k i is the name of that uh, township. So t a k i da sam d a l s a l a k o m k o k i Grandpa Ki walks toward the township um, Goki Township Hall. It's getting long, I think. We're not gonna write that one. Just <laughs> it's a little long, but um, you get the idea. That's how you um, learn to read Khmer. Again, you see. The letter ro 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 here ro here ro here, but when you um, write it, you don't have to write the parentheses. Just for example, the other way did it here ko u ko n g ro ko. You don't have to like add a parentheses here. Um, parentheses again, kind of indicating that it is. Silent, like yeah, it doesn't do anything. Okay, um, and here at the bottom we have pictures, two pictures, uh, cuckoo. So again, the sound of the wind, the sound of snoring. When you snore, the wind comes out of your body. Cuckoo, um, and then we have Salakom, the township. Over here. That's it for our lesson today. I hope you all enjoy uh, learning, uh, reading, and writing at Soko. If you have any questions, please comment below. And um, if you have not done so, please subscribe so you can um, receive more videos like this one. And thank you so much for. Um, Watching. Thank you, Jumadabli.